So just so you know, I think I'm gonna stop making the mayonnaise because it's just, ugh, it just takes so much extra time that, whoa, whoa, I never noticed that before. Apparently when the note appears, you get a nice little pan. See, because I never noticed that because I usually only listen out of one speaker, but you get a nice pan. I can hear it now. All right, anyway, thank you, chickens. A delivery filled with gratitude, a note for wonderful eggs. Yeah, so I guess you get a note for shipping eggs, and we have probably could have gotten that note forever ago, but because we've been shipping mayonnaise, we couldn't get it. Not that it's really a very big deal, but... You know what? It just takes too much time to sit over there and put the eggs in the mayonnaise, and I don't care, because making money is so trivially easy now. I mean, it's a matter of time, so there's no reason to waste time trying to make more money when it... It's just a matter of time until we do make more. Ooh. Well, look at that. Would you? We already got good milk, so way to go. You know, it's probably mostly a luck thing, but whatever. Anyway, um, I was planning on demonstrating this. Now that we- Oh, here's my horse! Well, what in the world were you hiding inside here for? Have you even been eating? Ugh. Well, alright, I'll go ahead and brush the horse and feed it. Anyway, I, I came in here to show you the, um, these machines. The cheese and butter machines. Um, so now that we have some milk, I'll go ahead and demonstrate how, how that works out. Very similar to mayonnaise. Take the milk. Let's go ahead and do butter this time. Put it in the machine. Out comes butter. So this is good butter, since we put in good milk. So there you go. Now we cannot ride the horse out of the barn, we have to actually get out the bell and... Anyway, so yeah, there, that's what it looks like when you process your milk into butter. So, pretty cool, I guess. Dude, there was a rock here a second ago. <laughs> Did the game just delete that rock? Oh no, I think he's standing on top of it, actually. You can't fool me. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> well, anyway. Okay, have we ever been to this place? Either the Perch Inn? I don't know if we have. Yeah, alright. I guess not. I guess we have a new cutscene. Welcome. Welcome to the Perch Inn. So it's you. Yes, it's me, Doug. <sighs> nice jump. I'm finally able to run an inn. I, I need to be doing a voice here. Let me introduce you to our customer's favorite girl. Hey, Gwen. Alright, I'm not sure how I felt about that. Kind of didn't really like that. That didn't make any... Okay. What is it, Uncle Doug? Alright, she needs to sound more feminine. This is... My oh, no. No. <laughs> this is my niece, Gwen. She goes to the racetrack, so I thought perhaps you might recognize her. Haha, uh, of course. We've met, haven't we? Yes, we've met. That was Joe. Ah! That was Gwen. I'm Gwen. Nice to meet you, Joe. You may not be able to tell, but my cooking is top notch. Alright. Please stop by anytime you want. Thanks, Doug. Or, thanks, Doug. That was Joe. Okay, so I don't know what you can do at the inn. I suppose you can marry Gwen also. She's another marriage candidate. So, oh, hey, look, it's John, the the dog. I guess it was Doug who had the dog. Cool. I like the dog. Hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't even read what she was saying. Hey. <laughs> What is Doug doing over here? Yeah. Okay, alright. 
Yeah, hey, a healthy life starts with proper eating and sleeping. Yeah. Yeah, well, see ya. Eat well. Thanks, Doug. Appreciate it. Could we, like, buy some... Yeah, okay, so you can buy some food here, too. Pretty much the exact same as Doug's place. That cafe. And I guess that's about it. Oh, let's get out of here. Oh, by the way, after our harvest yesterday, look at the, look at how much money we made yesterday with our harvest. You can go check out our little ah uh, the memo. You see, we got twelve thousand from the harvest. Farm shipping. Most of that came from farm. That was the eleven thousand four hundred from the uh, corn ranch. That's that would be the um uh I don't know what would the, I guess that'd be the eggs, right? Because I shipped some eggs and mayonnaise and stuff other shipping I think that's like the fried eggs so it, t it totals up to 12,000 so we made a nice little sum there sum of money so now we could go buy some stuff I guess okay so at Woody's place I think there there is some stuff that I'd like to spend our hard-earned money on. One of which is we now have the option, well actually we've had this option for a while, to remodel our house. Uh, we won't have enough lumber, I'm gonna have to buy some. But yeah, you can remodel it to a larger size, so figure why not go ahead and do that. But let's let's move it actually. Can we do that? Can we move our house? I'd like to buy some new... Uh... Where is that? That's not even, it doesn't even have a number. Anyway, I'll go ahead and buy some property, because I don't like my house being so far away from everything. So let's do, like, I don't know, I, well, that's, that's way over there, okay. Is there anything over by our, our river property, like, because that'd be kind of nice. Alright, that's sort of close. Let's cross the river. That's next to the one that we already have. That's way close to the the ocean property. But the thing is, it's like when I want to put my tools away. I'd like the sh the the toolbox to be easily accessible from the river property, but that doesn't really seem like a possibility, does it? Not really. So, huh. Well, let's, uh, let's see, well, let's just go ahead and buy the, the property next to the one that we have. At least that'll make it a little bit closer. How much does the remodel cost? Okay, hold, hold on a second. Let's just figure this out. Alright, so with the lumber that we bought, I just bought 40 logs of lumber. We're not going to have enough money to actually do the remodel today. So, we'll have to do that tomorrow or something. So, yeah, whatever. We'll just... Because we'll get, we'll get the money, and then we'll be able to do it tomorrow. So, that's the plan. Okay, also, since I never showed shipping of the butter, I might as well do that. I guess I also never showed shipping of good milk, so... There you go. Dude, why are you running away? I'm just I'm just putting some butter in the shipping bin, dude. Calm the heck down. Oh, wait, dude, seriously? So here's our orange tree. And I think I might have seen an orange right here. Nope, I completely imagined it. Well, <laughs> never mind. Here's our orange tree, though. Pretty freaking exciting, huh? Yeah, that was from forever ago. Wow, that's cool. Have we ever actually been to the ocean before? Maybe I just wasn't able to hear it on my last headset, but that ocean sounds really cool. Like, do you hear that? That sounds really, like, relaxing. Like, 
sort of realistic, you know? You hear the seagulls and everything. Man, that's really... That's pretty sweet. <laughs> I think so, anyway. And it has the whole the whole pan effect from left to right. Love the pan. Man, look at me picking up shells on the beach. What is this, Animal Crossing?